Hey, Ethan's. I got a comment on one of my videos not too long ago <clears throat> asking me about, uh, you know, wanting me to prove the comments, uh, the, the things that I had said in the video. What they were referring to was in, when I was talking about um, uh, species, and I, sh and I talked about the difference between a dog and a bear. Um, of course, everyone accepts that a dog and a wolf come from the same uh uh, or, or have a common descendant, but, uh, but you know that that was the the next step up that I was trying to show you that it's even further out than you think because if you look at the two, they're very similar in, in many many respects. Uh, and the guy responds with, "Okay, so take a dog and breed it with a bear and and uh, and come up with a you know a transition, which you know through this big thing, he doesn't get it. That doesn't work. I got to thinking about." Uh, the other videos that I've made about evolution, um, for example, defining uh, kind, and I told them to define what a kind is, and the more I got to thinking about that, I got to thinking about some of the other videos that I've done about it, and I realized that while I take them to task for defining what their kind is, and I take them to task for not understanding how evolution works, I have not yet helped them understand what a species is. Now, I came up with this idea back when I got this comment, which was a couple of weeks ago. In fact, it was before the awards video that I did. And wouldn't you know, the sorry bastard Shane DK that I gave the Transitional Species Award makes a video on the exact same subject right after that. Worse than that, he has the audacity to come up with a better analogy than I had. I had put together how I wanted to say it, and uh, his was better. So rather than, you know, doing mine, I'm just going to let you watch his uh, with permission from him from his video. So check this out. Consider this gradient. It's black on one side and white on the other, smoothly moving from one to the other. This is more like how species transitions work. Consider the horizontal dimension to be time and the species slowly changes over the course of it. So the question might be, at what point does the black species turn into the white species? You could place the point at 50% gray with some justification, but the color immediately to one side, considered part of the black species, and the color immediately to the other side, considered part of the white species, are almost identical, and certainly more like each other than the black or white on either extreme. So you propose a transitional species, gray. This species is from 33% gray to 67% gray, but you still have the same problem with the similarities of specimens near the boundary. Here you see the problem. We as humans want to divide things into categories, but nature, apparently, does not share this desire. Indeed, the definition of species is a hard one to pin down. The basic definition is, if two organisms can produce fertile offspring, they're the same species. So if two species cannot reproduce with each other, they're different species. Okay, so with that in mind, let's, keep, let's consider, could a bear and a dog possibly have a common descendant. Now we've already accepted that there's all different types of wolves, that we know that there are different types of wolves, and, and that, that we as man took these wolves and we bred them together to become dogs. So is it really all that confusing that a wolf would become a, a dog when a dog is defined as something as uh, severe as anything from a Chihuahua to a Great Dane? With a Chihuahua and a Great Dane being the same species, that means that they could still breed with each other. Now, consider that as we consider birds. Now, you would consider birds the same as dogs, right? Here's this canary, and, and there's other types of birds as well. Uh, here's a swallow. Uh, perhaps they could breed with each other, right? Or this cardinal. But no, they are different species. These birds, as similar as they are, even as close as this bald eagle is to this griffin vulture, they cannot breed with each other because they are different species. Ducks. Duck is not a species. Uh, you know, this mandarin duck cannot breed with the mallard ducks that you just saw. All right, so before we get too far uh, off track here and, and uh, I lose anybody, let's understand exactly what we're talking about here. The scientific classification of animals starts with kingdom, okay, and then we move down to phylum. Then we go to the class. Now, 
some of these birds that I just showed you are in different classes. That's how far removed they are from each other. Then you have the order, the family, and none of them are even in the same family of bird. Forget about species. They're completely and totally different, even above the genus level. So if you want to classify a bird as a kind, you're way off the mark. And that brings us to us. Some people say that, uh, you know, I just can't believe that, you know, man evolved from apes. I hate to break this to you, but you are an ape. That's not an insult. That's just a fact. The definition of what an ape is, is you, okay? So understand that we are apes. Humans are apes. It has to do with the scientific classification of animals. And yes, you are an animal. Humans are animals. You're not a plant. You're not a rock. You're not mineral. So you are an animal. And as an animal, you are a primate. You are a, an ape. You are a hominid. You are a human. Okay, so are we really that different? So now I'd like you to consider how different are the other apes that we have out there? You know, forget about species and classifications. How different is a gorilla from a chimpanzee to a human? Exactly how different are we compared to the differences between the Chihuahua and the Great Dane, or the Canary, and the Bald Eagle. So I hope that helps, okay? I hope that puts together this idea just a little bit better for you so you understand the difference between uh, what different species are, and, and even further up the ladder, uh, so that maybe you understand how evolution is supposed to work a little bit better. I know it was a lot, maybe it's a little confusing, I don't know, but hopefully that helped at least some of you. Uh, but as always, don't take my word for it, think for yourself.